A recent World Bank study on the global poor indicated that more than 1.3 billion people live in poverty. In these abject circumstances, subsistence and small-scale farming represent an all-important means of survival for more than 640 million rural poor people. Adverse farming conditions, however, caused by drought, disease and parasite infection, and the inaccessibility to stock remedies and information often further hamstring these resource-poor farmers. In regions such as sub-Saharan Africa, poverty is consequently growing at an alarming rate of 3% per annum. One of the major causes of losses in production in small ruminants is Himonchus contortus, otherwise known as wireworm or barber's pole worm. In the tropical areas of the world, losses in small ruminants are estimated to be in excess of 50% in young animals. In South Africa, wireworm is a problem particularly in the summer rainfall area. Wireworm is found in the milk stomachs or abomasa of livestock. The worm sucks blood, causing anemia and rapid regression in the condition of the infected animal. Many animals die as a result. Due to overuse over many years, resistance to worm remedies or antelmintics has become an acute problem. A novel system for the assessment and subsequent treatment of wireworm in goats and sheep, known as the Famachar system, has been developed in South Africa and is being tested and validated worldwide. The system was developed in response to the emergence of severe resistance to worm remedies in sheep in South Africa. Famacha represents a method of selective chemotherapy, which leads to a large reduction in the treatment of sheep for wireworm and hence in the selection for drug resistance. Anemia can be diagnosed by the paleness of the mucous membranes of the eye of the animal. The Famachar system comprises a simple diagnostic chart with five color categories depicting the various degrees of anemia. The color of the mucous membrane of the animal is compared to the chart and the animal is then classified according to a five-point scale ranging from one non-anemic to five severely anemic. For optimum results, goats and sheep must be examined every two to four weeks or weekly in times of heavy worm infection. Each animal is scored with the aid of the chart and only those in categories 3 to 5 are then treated. Clinical tests among goats farmed in resource poor areas indicated that the Famachar system is able to correctly identify up to 85% of the animals in need of treatment. Famachar is effective as part of an integrated wireworm management program in sheep and goats. It should not be used in isolation and is not suitable for managing any other parasites. It should only be used by trained personnel under veterinary supervision. The system leads to reductions in treatment when compared to conventional drenching practices and slows down the development of worm remedy resistance. Famacha is also useful for identifying animals that repeatedly require treatment and should thus be eliminated from the flock. The Famachar system is an innovative, functional and cost-effective tool for managing wireworm in sheep and goats. Famachar offers significant short-term savings on medication. The annual worldwide sales of remedies against parasites amount to more than 3,000 million US dollars. When properly implemented, the Famachar system can save up to 60% on the cost of worm remedies. It also reduces further development of resistance to dewormers. During tests, the system was enthusiastically welcomed by almost 90% of all farmers and farm workers. For more information and to purchase charts, contact Professor Gareth Bath, University of Pretoria, South Africa.